What's going on, world? How you guys feeling out there? Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope nobody got arrested or did nothing that they shouldn't have been doing, drinking and driving. Um, but I really think our justice system really need to crack down on some of these crimes because they cut people so much slack that you read more and more about the stupid shit people do in the world. Like, police found a 12-year-old boy who weighed 40 pounds locked in the fucking bathroom in a cage in his parents house they've been locking this little boy in there for weeks and months at a time you know over the last past year got a bed they tie him up to and all type of shit dudes 12 and he weighed 40 pounds you know my fucking daughter's five and she weighed 40 pounds police you know they took him to social services and you know treated him for dehydration and malnutrition and shit like that and the parents was hit with child neglect i believe it was and child abuse no, that shit's not going to work. It's not going to fly with me. If I had control of it, this would be attempted murder. This boy was 40 fucking pounds and he's 12. You know, at 12, you play like peewee football. You know what I'm saying? He would be lunch, breakfast, and dinner and snack for somebody on an opposite football team. The dude is 40 fucking pounds. It's fat people with toenails that weigh 40 fucking pounds. You know what I'm saying? And this little boy is 12. He damn near grown. Give him six years. He's a full, well, he's a grown man. 40 pounds? That's attempted murder right there. You know what I'm saying? The first thing the police should have did when they see them, they should have slapped the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? I would rather read about a case of police brutality on somebody who actually needs some shit like that to happen to them. You rape a kid, you rape a woman, you do this to a kid, starve them, you do a violent hate crime. If the police slap the fuck out of you, I wouldn't get mad. I would say, can I tip this motherfucker right here? Hit him with your nightstick next time, goddammit. Because this shit really don't make no sense. It's sad when you hear stories about this. Folks, remember, kids, nobody acts to be here. If these fucking nasty-ass people would have kept their legs closed and he would have kept his little-ass wiener in his fucking tight-ass Levi's or his fucking Bugle Boy jeans or his doctor's, I don't know what kind of fucking pants he wear. If he would have just kept that in there or just put a condom on that shit, he wouldn't have to worry about treating somebody like that. You treat an animal, you catch an animal up, you know? You cage a dog up, but you don't tie him to no bed or nothing of that nature. But I just, you know, brought this video out to tell you guys or tell somebody if they're in the justice system and they can make something happen. Um, pay closer attention when you punish these motherfuckers, okay? There should be no plea bargains or nothing like that. You found this kid fair and square, red-handed in the house. You know, shaking like a motherfucker because he probably ain't ate in two weeks. And he's not one of those kids that you see on TV with flies in their face, you know, swatting flies, hoping a fucking thing of potatoes or rice fall on him because he's hungry. He was treated like that in America by some cruel ass people. So I say that's attempted murder. Get rid of these motherfuckers for the long ride. I'm out. Deuces.